Hey there, it's great to have you here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the new Decision Vault integration onto your make.com account, start using it in your scenarios, and showcase the full features that this new integration offers. Let's get going. Installing the integration onto your account will just take a minute. Click on the link down below. Once you do that, you'll be taken to the following page. Decision Vault, the button to install. You'll also be able to see all the modules that this new integration offers. So click Install and make sure that you're logged in with your make.com account. After that, make sure you select the organizations that you want to install this app on. Click Install and Finish Wizard. This will take you back to the original screen on make.com. Now, how do we actually start using it in our scenarios? Very simple. Click Create a new scenario. I'll go to a scenario that already exists. And now when you type in Decision Vault, it will appear just as any other app that you may have uh, in Make. If you click Show More, you'll be able to see all the different modules that it offers, split into different categories. And the only thing that you'll need to do now before you're able to start using it is to connect it to your Decision Vault account. To do that, click on any of the modules. For example, let's say List Matters. Click Create a Connection. You can name the connection whatever you want. And then in the API key, you need to go to this integration page, a page on your Decision Vault account. If you head over to it and scroll down, you'll be able to find this developer section and the developer's API. Click on Settings. Here will be your API key. So just copy it, go back, paste the key here, and click Save. Once that is done, it will authenticate and you'll be able to start using any of the modules. So let's try to run this. And as you can see, it correctly returned some data. The integration now fully replicates the open API of Decision Vault. And so it has features such as getting the list of events and um, being triggered up when events happen on your account. For example, when an, um, a questionnaire is completed or when a questionnaire is updated. Uh, listing the matters, getting the matters, getting assets for the matters, getting contacts for the matters, pre-creating a matter, and getting the invite URL, um, and also loading into the matter any of the external identifiers you may have, for example, in your external systems, such as other case management software or an internal database. Getting the information about the questionnaires, financial categories, a user's information, and making an, any arbitrary API call as well, just as that is available for any other uh, integrations on make.com. So let me now walk you through the most important modules and the ones you'll probably be using most often. First of all, listing the matters. You're able to either list all of the matters under your account or you are able to filter it. For example, on the creation date, this from and until fields, if it's submitted, yes or no, or undefined, and also search for matters that contain a specific um, text in their name. Once you run it, you'll get an output like this with the matter ID, the name, the open and the close date, and also the web app URL. After that, you can get information about a specific matter. You can either pass the ID dynamically, or you can click search matters over here. You're also are able to specify a specific search term. For example, if you want to uh, search only for matters that contain specific text in their name, or you can also return all of the matters and then just select any one of them. The output that you're going to be getting here will look like the following. Again, some information similar to list matters, but also information about the main contact, such as their name, date of birth, date of death, their emails in an array, phone numbers, and the questionnaire as well that it is related to. You're then able to list assets for matter. The matter selection is similar to the get matter. Here you'll have information about each assets, its financial category ID, identifier label, credit debit values, any of the additional fields, and information about beneficiaries. Then you're able to list contacts for matter as well with a similar setup. On each contact you'll get their name, 
different dates, again, emails, addresses, and phones. And also, what is the relationship? For example, the main contact, the spouse, a child, as you can see over here. After that, you're able to pre-create a matter. And the fields that you can specify here are the questionnaire, the meta name, and any of the contacts. So this would be the external identifiers that, for example, again, in your internal database, one of the case management systems that you want to store inside of your matter, and then any events that are going to be happening to the matter, such as you know, when a questionnaire is submitted, or when the intake is completed, those events will also have all of these identifiers here, so you can take action in external systems upon that information. When creating the matter, you'll get an invite key and also an invite URL that you can send to the client for them to start filling out the questionnaire. List questionnaires will just list all the questionnaires available under your account with their name and a web app URL as well. Then you can get a questionnaire, a specific information about a particular questionnaire. Also able to list all the financial categories available under your account and get information about a specific user based on their user ID. And last but not least, we have webhooks. So what are webhooks? Webhooks allow you to take action either in Make or in other systems based upon certain events happening under your account. So how do we define them? First of all, add a module called Watch Events over here and click Add. You can name it whatever you want, for example, Intake completed, click save, and make will generate this URL for you here. Click copy address to clipboard, and then head over to decision world. In decision world, head over to integrations, scroll down to webhooks, click on settings, and click end endpoint here. In the endpoint URL, paste whatever URL Make has provided you with. You can also add an optional description. And finally, then choose which events do you want uh, that webhook to be triggered by. So, for example, it could be all of the events under your account, or for example, when only when the intake form is completed. Click Create, and the webhook is set up. Now, if we go back to Make, click OK, and then run the scenario, it will now wait for any events happening under your account. So let's go to one of the matters and mark it intake as complete. Mark intake complete. Now, if we go back, just after a few seconds, this module has been triggered and we received all the information about the type of the event, the matter details, any metadata, such as a questionnaire. And additionally, if you define any context and pre-created the matter using the create a matter module, any of that information external ideas will also appear over here. I hope that this integration will be helpful for you to integrate the Synod world with other systems that you are using. An important disclaimer, this app is not developed officially by Decision World developed by us, Automation for Lawyers. We're a consulting agency helping boutique law firms to become human-less through automation and AI. If you need any support with this app, please submit a ticket over here. This link is available in any module. Once you click on the link, you'll be redirected to this form. Please leave your name, email, and describe your issue. Support any additional files such as screenshots if uh, required, and then we'll get back to you and try to solve your issue as fast as possible. Otherwise, Thank you, and I hope to see you building great things with this new integration.